Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing another one of my favorite local Southern California hikes. And it's a little different because this time I'm actually hiking on the coast. I usually hike in the mountains. I spend a lot of time on the coast. I don't usually vlog it. So I'm at Crystal Cove State Park, which is right next to Laguna Beach in Orange County, Southern California. And Crystal Cove, I, I feel like it's mainly known for its coastline. It's about three miles of coastline, beautiful natural bluffs, a little historic district that has cottages from the 30s and 40s um, that you can actually rent and spend a vintage night on the beach. But what it also has is this backcountry area. And it's not an extensive backcountry area because a lot of this area is developed. It's coastal, coastal Southern California. It's prime real estate here. But there is some backcountry left and there's some nice hiking trails that have coastal views. So that's, that's, it's really special that we still have these places that exist. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go find a map and kind of describe the hike I'm going to be taking today. Okay, so here's a map of the park and it's essentially a canyon, Morro Canyon, surrounded by a couple of ridges. So I don't know how well I can point this out. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this main trail up the middle of the canyon. Then I'm going to be climbing up to this ridge over here. It's called No Name Ridge. And then taking this ridge all the way up to this park over here, where there's actually free parking if you want to do this hike in reverse. There's a, another ridge that kind of comes over here. And then taking Morrow Ridge down and hopefully getting those nice ocean views when the, <laughs> when the marine layer has burned off a little bit. Um, in Southern California, and actually Central California, probably Northern California too, the, uh, the mornings, especially as the weather gets warmer, tend to be very, very foggy because uh, this moisture accumulates over the coast, we call it the marine layer, and usually what happens is further on in the day, whether it's the morning or the afternoon, it'll eventually burn off and become sunny. So you can see it's part way burned off right now. So just uh, heading up the that main section of the canyon just goes straight through the middle of the park. And if you can see the sign up here to the right is actually where I'm gonna be coming out from my loop. Also, you can notice there's still some, some blooms here. This bright yellow plant is gorgeous. It's called, it's mustard plant. Um, it's gorgeous, but unfortunately it is invasive. And when it stops being beautiful, when it stops blooming and dries out, then it actually becomes a fire hazard. So, I mean, it's gorgeous. It creates these gigantic patches of yellow, bright yellow in the spring, but then uh, kind of a problem the rest of the year. So I'm not even that far up Morro Canyon at this point, and I want to point out something. Uh, it got really sunny all of a sudden. Let me pan back, get some flowers in here, towards the coast. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a wall of white. So it doesn't take very far away from the coast today to get away from that coastal fog. Again, I'm hoping more of it will burn off by the time this, this hike is almost done because coming down Morro Ridge, you get some really, really nice views of the coastline. It's a really beautiful coastline too. So continuing heading up that main trail that goes right through the middle of the park and it's the Morro Canyon Trail. Okay, came up on my junction for West Cut Across, which is this trail here. The one straight in front keeps going through the canyon. You can actually get a little bit of shade if you go straight up through the canyon. They have installed signs here uh, to help you find where you are. This is a little bit of a confusing junction. This is actually two trails here. This one's called Poles. Follows the tel <laughs> telephone poles and goes straight up. It's really steep and then this is west cut across right here. So what I'm doing now is I'm heading up to a ridge called No Name Ridge. Its name is actually No Name. And then I'm gonna uh, keep heading up from there. Okay, I see a sign up there. It means I am at that junction for No Name Ridge. Ooh, let me catch my breath. And you can see what I was talking about, about this development that completely surrounds these natural areas. So here's the sign right here. So just came up 
this. This is Pulse. I'm gonna keep going up No Name Ridge, technically into Laguna Wilderness, um, and then back around. A little bit further down the trail, I'm hitting the first of these three unnecessarily steep inclines or declines, depending on which way you're going. Um, they're not fun either way. Either that or you really enjoy it because you're just here for a workout and not here for a leisurely hike. Uh, I'm just about to hit that. As you can see, oh, got a little bit better view of the canyon now that I'm looking back. You can see the center of the canyon there. But straight across is this trail, East Cut Across, and it's also pretty steep. I think this might be Rattlesnake here, so steep trails are kind of common here. It's just No Name Ridge has three of these annoying bumps. Exiting Crystal Cove State Park, entering Laguna Coast Wilderness, and steep climb number two. A little bit of a change in scenery now. You see some of these houses a little bit better. They're nice houses. They're expensive houses, um, but just surrounds this wilderness area. And then we're looking inland. So over here, that's Santiago Peak. That's the highest peak in Orange County. And might barely be able to make out the San Gabriel Mountains back there. On a clear day, you can see Mount Baldy and the San Gabriel's really clearly, and you can also see Santa Catalina Island, which is offshore, very clearly. That usually happens in the winter, though, and this is kind of end of spring. Coming up on the last uphill, it's right next to this neighborhood, and it's it's not that bad of an uphill. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Ugh, maybe around this bush. You can see there's a fence there. And it just kind of winds to the top of that hill there. But if you're hiking this in the future, keep an eye out because I occasionally see roadrunners here. Here in another spot in Crystal Cove are places I kind of almost regularly have seen roadrunners. Uh, and it was such a such a weird experience the first time I saw it because I didn't realize they could live by the coast. I thought they lived in the desert with cacti. I mean, there are cacti there, but like, you know, cacti and like cliffs to, you know, mess with coyotes and such. But no, they're here too. Uh, definitely here. Rounding the corner to Ridge Park. Uh, you might be able to see through here. There's a bunch of cars. There's street parking up here. It's free. There's also a bunch of nice benches to sit on. Now, the benefit of parking up here is it's free, but you're usually ending your hike going uphill. A benefit of parking down in Morro Canyon, where I just, where I started, um, even though there's a day use fee, you usually end your hikes going downhill and there's beach access. Uh, you can see I'm hiking Bomber Ridge right now. That's that path in front of me. And then off to the left, you can see Highway 74. Nice views of the highway too from here. Partway down Bomber Ridge right now, I have a uh, entrance to Crystal Cove State Park. Uh, I think there's a couple of these. And uh, if I wanted to do a different, um, different length of, of hiking, I can take one of those. You can see there's some mountain bikers here. There is a trail that runs parallel to this that's technically inside the state park, but uh, you can see it's really popular with mountain bikers. It's basically a single track trail. I took it once and I learned my lesson, so I just take the Bomber Ridge Trail from now on. And this is my trailhead. So I'm going straight. I can explore more of Laguna Coast Wilderness but technically this is a Crystal Cove State Park hike. So I'm gonna be turning around here and technically re-entering California State Park. Just a little bit down this trail, it's the Morro Ridge Trail, and you can see the ocean. On a clear day, you can see Santa Catalina Island, which would be there. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like today is a clear day. Again, I love the days where you can see both Mount Baldy and Santa Catalina Island. But between this kind of big hill up here and 
the Upper Morro Campground, Backcountry Campground, is the other place I tend to see Roadrunners. So I probably won't see any today, but if you're doing this hike, keep, keep an eye out for them. Passing by the Upper Morro Campground, you can kind of see there's a, a little pit toilet up there. You can't really see it that well from the trail, so I'm just gonna step up into the campground a little bit. I've never camped at one of these backcountry campgrounds in here just because it's really not that long of a hike for me. Um, but it looks like got some picnic tables. This side at least looks like it's a little flat. Um, all these look like they're, they're first come first serve. Again, I haven't stayed in them before. Um, some of these, oh, trash can, that's nice. Some of these might actually have a nice ocean view too. So this is the upper and I'm gonna head down to the trail. It's just to the left here. And that should take me by Lower Moro Campground as well. Okay, next, cutting through Loro, Lower Moro Campground. Uh, if I had to blindly pick a campground to camp at, I think it would be this one. So let's see. If you go up here, I know the, the pit toilet is pretty good to use. Roadrunner. Right here. <laughs> well, that's special. <laughs> so this campground comes with roadrunners. You can do, Betty. Whoop. Just gonna watch him for a little bit, see what he does. I think he's hunting. to disturb him too much but uh, this one's got a pretty good can I get out of that zoom here we go uh, this one's got a pretty good toilet and I think better ocean views so if I were to pick a campground I would probably pick lower Moro as opposed to upper Moro okay so this is the rest of the trail Gonna follow it down and then head down the ridge and should get nice views of the bluffs down there. It's the canyon, that's Moro Canyon. That is the parking lot, the Moro Canyon parking lot. And then we have Coastline. And expensive homes. Final turn to the parking lot. It's a little spur called BFI. The B stands for big, the I stands for incline, and the F you can probably figure out. Uh, but last little bit to down to the parking lot. The incline, I mean, it's steep, but like, I feel like some of those those uh, little inclines on No Name Ridge were were worse than this. It's short, but it'll get me back down. Okay, spilling back out on that main trail, the Morro Canyon. Except this time I'm headed uh, headed across to the bridge of the parking lot. Then I'll walk across the parking lot and uh, check out the beach. All right, so this is the tunnel under PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, and it leads out to the beach. Uh, just fair warning, this does flood at high tide. So there's a possibility you could be wading through. This is the beach. Lots of people here today. Beach and bluffs. Just do a swing around. Pretty nice. So 
that is it for the Crystal Cove hike today. It's always nice when you can end a hike on the beach, especially when it's sunny. Um, still hoping to get some of those, you know, more travel oriented, bigger hikes in. Um, still having trouble finding the time to do that, but hopefully I'll be able to do that in the near future. But in the meantime, it's nice to have, I feel privileged to have some of these, these hikes that are nearby that are, are pretty cool too. So, uh, until next time, see you later.